What's up, Hasfit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a dumbbell chest workout. Today's routine does require dumbbells, and we recommend having multiple weights available to you so that you can switch up your weight depending on the movement. A bench is optional for today's routine, but if you don't have a bench, you will need a chair. You can follow along with me for the standard moves. And you can follow me for modifications. If you're ready to go, let's get it started. Before we get started, let's perform a warm up to make sure our shoulders and chest are ready for today's routine. The first one we're going to do is a shoulder box plus reach. Let's start with those elbows in at our side and at a 90 degree angle. First move is bringing those arms up to parallel to the floor, then hands back, feel that stretch, and then reach overhead, ideally finishing with those biceps by your ears. Now reverse it, elbows down, hands down elbows to the side. Repeat it. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, so as we're repeating this one, we kind of want to pull those elbows back and you'll feel that by doing so, you feel that chest stretch. So we call this a dynamic stretch. It means we're not just holding a static stretch position, but we're actually moving, which is the best way to warm up best done before your workout. Just a couple more, continuing to breathe here as we feel that chest, shoulders, even back start to loosen up. For three, two, one, relax. Next up, we're gonna do a overhead shoulder extension. Let's start with those hands at our side and our uh, thumbs are pointing forward. Bring our straight arms up overhead, full extension as far as you can, and then bring them back down. Again, repeat, we're gonna keep our shoulders stacked over our hips on this one. So we don't actually wanna like lean back as we're doing it, that would defeat the purpose and we wouldn't even get a stretch in. Again, palms are facing one another, facing in throughout the move. And as you feel those shoulders start to loosen up, warm up, that range of motion should probably improve from your first repetition to your last. And all those pops and snaps that you may have felt start to go away, actually, yeah. the more and, you warm up. And they're not to anything to be alarmed with, as long as there's no pain associated with that. And don't worry about a little snap, crackle, pop for three, two, one, last one. All right, and now we're ready to work on that chest. Today we have a bunch of supersets lined up for you, so we're gonna alternate between multiple exercises. For our first superset, we're gonna start with a chest press in a three-one tempo. I'm gonna do mine from the floor. And I'm gonna do mine from my bench. So if you're using a bench, you're gonna need it for these first two, or for this first superset. We're gonna want a heavier weight for this one. What's a heavier weight? Well, it's different for you than it is for somebody else. So really part of the learning experience of doing strength training. We're gonna do eight repetitions in total, but with a slow tempo. So maybe even lighter than you might normally do. We're gonna start with those palms facing forward, those dumbbells all the way up. Now, as I mentioned, three, one tempo. What does that mean? That means one, two, three seconds on the way down, one second on the way up. So focusing on that uh, eccentric lowering phase. Ready and begin. One, two, three, one. Again, every repetition you're controlling the way down and then 100% effort and speed on the way up. So inhale as you bring those weights down and exhale as you push them up on the one. And we shouldn't have those elbows up in line with our neck on this one, but instead keeping those elbows bent almost at like a 45 degree angle as you lower them. Two more to go. Again, don't rush through that lowering phase. Easy to do. Last one right here. But everyone focus on the control. 
Boom, there's eight. Okay, so I'm gonna stay on the floor. Claudia is gonna stay on the bench, but we're gonna need a much lighter weight for our next exercise. We're gonna do a low dumbbell fly. So that's a isometric exercise for our chest. So chest is doing all the work on this one, not getting help from the triceps like the last one. So we're gonna need a lighter weight and we're doing it for 12 repetitions. Yes. So again, light weights, whatever that is for you. Let's start with those dumbbells up and now we're gonna bring the ends together. So um, like I'm bringing my, kind of slightly twisting my pinkies in and those ends are touching one another. Palms are facing back behind me. I'm gonna lower those dumbbells, keep my elbows slightly bent, almost finishing with the dumbbells like by my side and then use my chest muscles to raise the dumbbells back up. And again, we're doing this one for 12 repetitions. Ready and begin. Well, we're not specifically counting a tempo on this one. We are still controlling that lowering phase. So we're not doing this like it's a cardio move or a, a hit move. Making sure that we get that full time under tension for our chest to engage and contract. Maintaining a slight bend in those elbows and really feel the chest muscles engage on this one. That's number seven. Using your chest to lift those dumbbells up. And again, inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up. That's 10, two more to go. And here's your last one right here. Excellent. Okay, so that's one time through that superset. Now's the time to think about the weight that you use for both of those movements. Was it too much? Was it too little? Uh, we have one more set of both of these, so choose your weight appropriately for that next set. You know, so again, on that chest press, it was too easy. Time to pump up the weight. Too hard, you couldn't make it to eight repetitions with proper form, uh, then slightly decrease your weight. So we take a, we want ideally in weight training, we got 30 to 60 seconds between each set. So we are making sure that we're taking that time. We're being deliberate with our rest time here. And is there a safe way to get these weights up over our head? Um, well, it's when a little bit different from, uh, from the floor, a few different, depends on how heavy they are. But for a set of eight, you should be able to place them on your knees and bring them up. Same on the bench. Same on the recommend. bench. Sometimes yep. you can kick them up. Yep. If you're going Bring for heavier, up. then you got to do a different technique. But for today, not relevant. Eight repetitions. Should be able to place them on your knees. Here we are. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, one. And again, a lot of people, if you don't have heavier weight, it's just focusing on that time under tension and doing slower tempo training is just as effective. Absolutely. As increasing the actual weight use. Yep. Just gotta have patience with these. Inhaling the way down, big exhale. Three more to go. On the way up. That's it. And then these last three reps should really start to fatigue you if you're using the appropriate weight. Last one. Excellent. Okay, so. Chest press is done. Moving on to our second set of those low dumbbell flies. Again, choosing that weight that's appropriate for you. First set was too easy, bump it up. First set was too hard, slightly decrease the weight. The more and more you do the strength training, the better off you'll get it. Estimating and determining what weights are appropriate for any given, any given movement pattern. All right, again, moving back into ready position here. We have 12 repetitions. Those palms are facing behind us. Pinkies are slightly twisted in here. Make sure we have that correct starting position. 12 repetitions. Let's do it together. Inhale, control, exhale, up. And if you are doing the variation from the floor, make sure you're not bouncing those arms off the floor. 
no momentum there. And if you're doing the variation from the bench, make sure you stop right as you get to your hips and come right back up. So parallel to the bench. That's a great point. No need to bury it and really take those arms to the full range of motion and let them hang below the bench on this one. Nope. I want to make sure we keep those shoulders healthy. That's right. Bulletproof those shoulders. Here is number seven. Again, contract those chest muscles up at the top. Actually squeeze them together just to ensure that they're the ones working here. And yes, your shoulders are gonna get a little bit of work on this one as well. Nothing wrong with that. Two more. Here we go, here's number 12 right here. Boom, there it is. First superset is complete. All right, our workout is going to continue with a challenging push-up variation. This is called a one and a quarter push-up, harder than a normal push-up. I'm gonna do mine from the floor. And notice I still have my bench, so I'm gonna do an incline push-up. So starting up top, in that top of the push-up position with our hands just wider than shoulder width, or sorry, just wider than chest width. I'm going to lower my body all the way down. Now I'm gonna come up a quarter of the way back down, and then all the way up. So that's one repetition, <laughs> one quarter and back up, putting extra emphasis on our chest muscles. It's for eight repetitions in total. You decide if you wanna hit the floor, hit the bench, or even hit a countertop, couch, or the wall to make it easier. That's right. Ready and begin. All the way down, quarter of the way up, back down, up. That's it. And if this is too easy for you, let's say you're a push-up pro, you can elevate your feet on this one. But you might want to wait until after the first set to make that determination. Again, that little extra quarter at the bottom just puts that much extra tension and effort into the chest muscles. Again, yes, your triceps and shoulders are working on this one. Last one. And there is eight. Okay, <sighs> feeling that chest. Whose idea was that? Feeling good, I don't know. I Some crazy say. person writing these workouts. <laughs> okay, we're gonna mix this one up with a cross body raise. We need one dumbbell, a light dumbbell, especially if you've never done this one before. No reason to go crazy on this one to start. We're gonna place our right <gasps> hand on our right hip. Oh. Oh, I got my dumbbell in my left hand. I'm gonna bring, uh, my uh, palm is facing up. I'm gonna bring that dumbbell across my body where my biceps actually almost dragging on my chest, lifting it straight up and back down. So it goes across my body, finishing with that dumbbell, almost in line with your shoulder or even just a little bit higher. We're gonna do this one for 10 reps on each arm. Again, always easier to start light and go up than it is to start too heavy and go down. All right, here we are, big deep breath, and begin across that body. Control the way down as well. It's almost like you feel that chest lifting the dumbbell up into the sky. Keep your hips square. Do not rotate your hips on this one. Or your shoulders for that matter. Great keep point. Keep them as square as you can. Or your head, everything else kind of just stays straight in line it's a sneaky exercise doesn't feel Ooh, like much at goodness. first here's number eight two more to go thank goodness but it's effective we're feeling it too all right last, last one. one all right <sighs> there's 10 i'm gonna let that left side rest up or our while our right side works Le left hand on the hip right palm is facing forward and begin Again, inhale on the way down. Exhale as you raise that dumbbell straight up. Exhale as you bring it up. Did you just say that? I did. Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> it bears repeating. Hey, can you tell it's working for us out there too, Tribe? We're right there with you. We're working with you. No movie magic here. Uh, I'm too busy counting. This is number eight. Two more. I'm good. I'm glad somebody's counting. Oh my goodness. There's nine. 
Let's hit number 10, folks. Ah, excellent. Okay. okay. Those are effective. You can set that down. And again, just as we you know, you know, mix up our weight, um, you know, between maybe the first and second set uh, to adjust it accordingly, you can adjust your push-up variation here. You know, oh, if you started on the floor, you want to come up, you started up there, you need a little extra challenge, come down. Again, make this work for you. No two bodies are the same out there. I and think what the biggest takeaway is would be just make sure that you have a good form. Yeah. So agree. if good no, form no, for no you. Chicken, no chicken put no, neck push-ups. Yeah, ups. no chicken neck, making sure your elbow's at 45 degree angle. That way, if you're like, you know what, those were a little wonky on the bench, I'm gonna take it a little higher. There is no shame in that. Yep. Work your way or to the bench. Or countertop, right? You know? Right. So the higher, that bo or the, the bigger that angle is, the easier it is for you. <sighs> so if the form police check me out, no need to leave a comment. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, hey, we're doing our best. <laughs> All right, speaking of doing our best, it's showtime, folks. We're doing this one again for eight repetitions. Ready? Nope. And, and, and begin. <laughs> that was an honest response. One quarter and up. Again, all the way down. One quarter and up. Don't hold your breath. Inhale down and exhale as you push up. That's a great point. This would be a terrible place to hold your breath. Again, making sure we're bending at those elbows, not just reaching with your neck on this one. Find that variation that's appropriate for your current strength and fitness level. Two more. Come on. Last one right here. You got to try it. Come on. Dig deep. Ah, there it is. Oh, my goodness. All right. No more one and a quarter push-ups. Hallelujah. But we do have another set of those cross body raises. Again, mixing up your you know, weight accordingly. If the first weight was great, great. If not, change it up, get it right. And again, that's why we highly recommend having multiple weights available to you. Dumbbells are such a great investment. They don't expire, they don't get old. And honestly, the older you get, the more you need weight bearing and strength training exercises. So keep them forever. Let's go, let's go. right hand on the hip, dumbbell left hand. Palm facing forward, we have 10 on each side. And begin across the body. Back down, that's it. And again, be so tempting to allow that dumbbell to just fly back down. But fight that temptation. Control it on the way down, that eccentric, lowering or yielding phase. It's actually where most of the work is getting done. Two more. Focusing on your breathing. Last one. Woo. All right, that's 10. Switcheroo. Again, let's give that left arm a break to the right side. Left hand on the hip. Good posture. Core is, in, core is braced and tight. Right palm is forward. Nice soft knees. And let's hit it. Again, it's almost like that bicep is rubbing up against your chest muscle as you not only raise it, but you bring it cross body, hence the name cross body raise. Halfway point. Come on. Every repetition is getting you just that much stronger, getting you just that much closer to your goals. Focus on it right here, folks. To Nine. the end. Last one right here. Let's go. Boom, there's 10. All right, I personally think this next superset might be the most challenging one of the day. We have two different press variations for you. For the first one, we're gonna need that heavier weight for a set of eight. It's a reverse grip chest press. So if you were using the bench, make sure you get your bench out again. And again, I'm gonna stay down here on the floor. You may use a similar weight to the uh, weight you used in the very first 3-1 tempo uh, chest press at the beginning. Let's go ahead and start with those dumbbells straight up. Now let's rotate those palms so those palms are facing the wall behind us. That's that reverse grip. Now we're going to lower the dumbbells, elbows are about a 45 degree angle, and then press them back up. It's eight repetitions in total on this one. Ready and begin. Inhale, exhale. And again, if you're doing this one from the floor, don't bounce those elbows off the floor. 
Control both ends here. That's number four, four more to go. Bring those elbows parallel to the bench and right back up. Maintaining that reverse grip throughout those palms facing behind you. Last one right here. And there's eight, okay. So we're gonna alternate this one with what's called a dumbbell crush press. And for this one, we're gonna do 15 repetitions and we need a much lighter weight. So maybe similar to the weight that you were using for that uh, low dumbbell fly, um, just in that range for a set of 15. Again, I'm staying on the floor, Claudia's staying on the bench. And we're gonna start back again with those dumbbells up overhead, but this time we're actually gonna bring, with our palms facing inward, we're actually gonna bring the dumbbells together. Now I'm gonna create constant tension, squeezing those dumbbells together, like trying to drive them into one another. Now maintaining that tension, I'm gonna lower the dumbbells, keep my elbows close to my body, and then press back up. But again, it's not really the weight that's the killer on this, it's maintaining that constant contraction, using your chest muscles to squeeze them together for 15 repetitions. Ready, begin. So this one ends up being a killer time under tension movement. If you're doing it right. Right, there is no rest. It's there, just constant tension. Correct. Normally at the top of the movement, you get a little break. But this one, you're constantly squeezing together. 10 more. Again, inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Feeling those chest muscles take Woo. over on this one. That's number nine. Six yeah. more, let's go. As you squeeze them together, you got it. Starting to burn, fighting through that burn, come on. Three more, I'm sorry, two more. That's 14, last one right here. Ah, very good. Oh my goodness. All right, well, we said we were gonna work your chest today. And we weren't exaggerating. No, you weren't. All right, so we can set those dumbbells off to the side. Shake out your arms and chest. We're gonna go through that one more time. Again, mixing up your weight or changing it up if you deem it necessary. Yeah, we're getting a lot of work in, so we're gonna get some uh, cumulative fatigue going here as we move it through the routine. You know, maybe this <laughs> would have been a little easier at the beginning, but several minutes in, Getting a little more challenging as oh. those muscles fatigue. So oh, yeah. take that into consideration as you choose an appropriate weight uh, to, main, you know, to challenge yourself, but also maintain proper form. All right, we have back to our reverse grip bench press or chest press, I should say. Those palms facing behind us. Eight repetitions. Ready, set, begin. Inhale, exhale, that's Ooh. it. It's that time of the workout when it gets particularly tough. You start thinking about what brought you here today. What is it? What are your goals? What are you working towards? Getting stronger, getting more aesthetically pleasing physique, just kicking butt at life, whatever it is. Last one right here, already, number eight. Boom, focusing on it. There yes. it is, there's eight. Okay. Chest is on fire, folks. It's working. Feeling good for me, too. Setting these big, heavy ones off to the side. Getting ready for our second set of that dumbbell crush chest press. And again, the weight really doesn't have to be too heavy on this one, as long as you're maintaining that constant tension, squeezing them together. Oh, yeah. Again, 15 repetitions in total. Number eight, and I was already struggling. Ooh. That's good though, I like yeah. it. Yeah, oh, it's working. All right, speaking of working, squeeze those dumbbells together and let's get that party started. Let's go, come on. That's it, you got it. So proud of you for showing up today and putting in that work, Has Fit Tribe. So many excuses you could have come up with to not get your workout in today, but that's not you. No excuses for you, you're disciplined. You got that healthy habit going. 
you're showing up today. You're going to show up at that next regularly scheduled workout. Keep it up, folks. Ten. Five more. Squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. Come on, don't give up on that squeeze. Don't give up on it. Thirteen. Two more. Last one. Here it is. Fifteen. Nice. Last one. Here comes a jello arm high five. <laughs> <laughs> nice work out there, Hasfit Tribe. You made it. Let's move into our cool down, show our body some love, a little restorative work here with a bent arm wall chest stretch. Now, if you have a wall, move over to it. Door frame, door, just something you can put your arm up against. I'm going to have a 90 degree angle here. I'm going to place this part flat on the wall. And now I'm going to slowly and gently rotate my body away from the wall. And I'm just going to hold. And you know, with these static stretches, you want 85, 90% of what we're capable of. We want a good, feel a good stretch, but we don't want pain. Just hold there, feel it open up. Oh yeah. Definitely feels like a really good stretch. For three, two, one. Okay, same move. I'm sure you can guess what we're doing next. Let's do the other side. 90 degree angle. Flat on that wall. And then rotate away. Again, just hold there. One side may be more feel more fatigued or tighter than the other. Don't worry about that. That's why we're hitting both sides. It's a gr also a great one to help improve our posture. You know, when those shoulders and chest tighten from all the sitting down that we do throughout our day. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ah, shake it out. Next up, we're gonna move into what's called a posterior shoulder stretch. Ideally, I would like that right hand just behind your lower back. If you can't get it there, on your hip works as well. Now with my opposite side hand, I'm gonna either grab my upper arm or my elbow, and I'm gonna gently, gently pull forward on that elbow and that arm. Just holding there and breathing. That's it. Focusing on bringing that heart rate down throughout the cool down. Three, two, one. Same move, opposite side. Now, gently pulling forward on that elbow. Again, heart rate's coming down even lower now. Our goal is to get that heart rate back down to almost normal by the end of our cool down. Oh, feeling that good stretch in my arms. For three, two, one. We're gonna move to the floor for our last one. It is called a child's pose. To our knees we go. And then I want you to walk those hands out as far as you can reach them. And then we're gonna sit back, trying to sit back onto our heels. If you can get there, great. If not, that's okay. But we just wanna pull back and feel those arms pulling away from your spine, away from your chest, away from your shoulders and back. And just relax here. Just a deep breath. Taking one quick second to edify ourselves and just be proud of ourselves for what we achieved today. We got it done. Three, two, one, zero. And that is the end of today's workout. And you know that you can get even faster results by following a complete exercise program. And HasFit has you covered there. We have multiple strength training programs. For depend, doesn't matter what fitness level you're at or what your goals are, we got you covered. That's right. And those fitness programs can be found on the HasFit app, which can be downloaded to any device. You can also help support us by stopping by our store, picking up some HasFit gear, like a sweet t-shirt, or <laughs> our diet guide, Eating for Life. And don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channel. Until next time, I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.